Tom Neal is best remembered for his off-screen exploits, which involved scandal, mayhem and a charge of murder. Before his 1938 screen debut in MGM's Out West with the Hardys, 1938, Neal had been a member of the boxing team at Northwestern University, had debuted on the Broadway stage in 1935 and had received a law degree from Harvard, also in 1938. Throughout the 1940s and into the 1950s, he appeared mostly as tough guys in Hollywood low-budgeters. In 1951, in a dispute over the on-again, off-again affections and the wavering allegiance of notorious actress, party girl, Barbara Payton, he mixed it up with Payton's paramour, the aristocratic actor Franket Tone. The former college boxer Neil inflicted upon Tone a smashed cheekbone, a broken nose and a brain concussion. Hollywood essentially blackballed Neil thereafter, but he would come to find a livelihood in gardening and landscaping. He was brought to trial in 1965 for the murder of his wife Gail, who had been shot to death with a .45 caliber bullet to the back of her head. Prosecutors sought the death penalty for Neil, which at the time meant a trip to the cyanide gas chamber. The trial jury, however, convicted him only of involuntary manslaughter, for which he was sentenced to 10 years in jail. On 7 December 1971, he was released on parole, having served exactly six years to the day. Eight months later, Tom Neal was dead of heart failure.